let's go over how to install a local web server on a Linux machine. Here I have Ubuntu 20.04 long-term support in front of me, a fresh installation so we can go through things. Let's go up to activities and launch a terminal. This will make things a lot faster for us. In a matter of moments, you can get a web server set up locally. You'll also be able to release this publicly once you get things set up. We'll start things out by doing sudo apt update inside of a terminal and you'll be asked for your administrative password. Put that in and that was done to update the repositories. That way we can have the latest and greatest packages available to us. Also, this process should be similar in most distributions of Linux. So if you're not using Ubuntu, give it a try anyway. Next to install Apache, I'm gonna clear things out and do sudo apt install Apache and I'm gonna throw a two at the end. That's A-P-A-C-H-E two and press enter. It's going to ask us if it's okay to install the libraries and suggested packages. I'm gonna press enter for yes, which is the default and it's going to install that package Apache 2 for us. Apache 2 is a simple web server that we can use locally or publicly depending on our setup. And we're almost there. You've successfully installed the web server. Now we just need to make edits to it and check it out for ourselves. But before you do, make sure to smash that like button and think about subscribing below. Plenty of Linux and programming videos on the channel. So let's check out our working web server. If we go to some web browser, I'm going to the default here, which is Firefox here in Ubuntu. And once your web browser is started up, just type in localhost up at the top. That's all you'll need. And welcome to your default page for your web server. This is the Apache 2 Ubuntu default web page. If you see this, you've successfully installed things. And notice it gives us a little bit of a hint on var www html index html. That's where this file is located so we can make edits to it as we see fit. We're well on our way to using the web server. So let's now go make some changes to that index file so we can present something else to people who are accessing this page. Two ways here, probably the easiest way would be actually through terminal. If you use something like VI or Vim, you can access the location by doing something like VI and pasting that last location. If you don't have it pasted, it's var www html and it's index.html. If I open that up, notice it says read only, so I need administrative privileges in order to actually edit this file. I'll do that instead. Another way is to open it up in a text editor. If you open up files, let's see, I'm gonna go to other locations. I want my computer to get to the root folder. Then I'll go to the same place. So var www html index.html. To open this up, I'm gonna choose open with another application, view all applications, and use the default text editor to make edits here. And here we go. Notice it says read only at the top. Again, you need administrative privileges. So since it does need those administrative privileges, I'm gonna go down here, put sudo in front, do vi var www html index.html. And now I'm just gonna get rid of everything because I don't want the page that we had. Just to make things easier on me, I'm gonna install Vim as well to make things easier on me. I edit much faster with that. Use whatever text editor you're comfortable with. So I'm gonna do sudo vim and then var www.html index.html. I'm gonna delete everything in here, don't need this stuff. And then I'm gonna put my own HTML in here. So I'm gonna do HTML, make sure to close this off. And then I'll add a head, close that off as well. Put, put a body tag, close that out. And finally put something in the body. Let's just center some text. And in between the center tag, we'll make this bold and say, Savvy Nick was here at the next exclamation point. I'm gonna save and exit out of that. And now let's go check out localhost once more. I'm just gonna refresh the page and look at that. Savvy Nick was here is now displayed. You know how to edit your main index.html file. Congratulations if you made it this far. Again, smash that like button for this quick and easy way to install a local web server. You can also get to this page if you know your IP address for the computer from other computers on your local network. That'll work as well. If you want the public to be able to reach your web server, you're going to have to play with your firewall rules, which is dependent on your router, but you're gonna to have to set up some port forwarding for port 80 so that people can see your web page. I don't suggest doing that because you do open up your port then to the public as well as have to give your public IP address out in order to get to the server, but you can research if you like. I like keeping this a local web server for testing purposes. 
and designing websites before moving them over to a production environment. It also helps you test on multiple devices, including from your phone, tablet, computer, or even TV, all on your local network to see what your website kind of looks like across the board. If you enjoyed this quick video, make sure to like and subscribe below. Hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.